Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of Banner of the Stars. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. We just need to know if these two are dead or not. That's it, because... <laughs> ah! Don't eat the cat, oh my god. Don't eat the owl. You precious baby boy. It is a little unfair, but yes, what can he do? Oh damn, we not even get no opening for the final episode? That says everything. Mm. Oh. Okay, so what the fuck happened? That's smart. Luffy always thinking on her feet. Oh, God. Because they could have really died. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Right? I mean, I mean, let's hope so. Do you have like a transmitter or, or a beacon or something that someone can notice, y'all? You still have a home, Tinto. Okay, that's good. Twelve hours later, thank God. I still can't believe he took a bath in the middle of this. Like, I would never know anyone to take a bath during a damn battle. Whether that's a space battle or a freaking battle with some freaking ships. Whatever! 
An airplane battle? <laughs> well, no, because there ain't no battle. <laughs> but still. What are my notifications? God damn, though. Let's see. <laughs> They're just taking their sweet time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but not quickly enough for him. I mean, you know, because if it was me, right there. <laughs> In a heartbeat. <laughs> but... <laughs> It happens. We all got events somewhere, right?
gotta love her. I mean, <laughs> she's just the type of woman who just wants to see certain people. She gets off on the fact is beating the crap out of other people. Oh, God. I hope so, though. Well. I mean, you could just destroy everything if you really wanted to, since they are withdrawing. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> How though are you just gonna straight up kill him in front of him or something? God. Kitty, all you want to do is eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom and play. Just like the fool animals. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, I don't think so. He'll always remember you. Animals always tend to remember who they cared about and their owners and stuff. Even people who took care of, who took care of them who wasn't really their owners. Trust me. <laughs>
So, heavy light or light heavy? <laughs> Because it's all you have left. Are we, hold on, wait, 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 are we doing, okay, no. We're just doing the theme song here, but I was going to say, we doing the credits here too at 17 minutes in? That would have been so weird. Uh, of course, because, you know, you can't just immediately start. Yeah, you got to start from the bottom and then go back for where you previously were, which kind of sucks. But it's kind of like that, you know, especially when you get a brand new car. You can't automatically think that you're going to be able to drive a new car like you drive your old car. Or when you get a new job or anything. now of all times. <laughs> oh yeah we don't want anything happening to him
used to think last week, I thought they were both dead. <laughs> I mean, because the way they show that right there, it just seems, oh, okay, they're possibly dead. <laughs> Okay, so uh, all right, I think I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna go ahead and do final thoughts on Banner before we start Banner of the Stars too. So honestly, I think I like this season a lot more than season one. I mean, season one was good. Like, do not get me wrong, but the stakes and amp that they had to deal with on this was really more interesting. I mean, yeah, like, season one was really more about them going to, like, a different place every single week. And then it was kind of almost like the same thing with this, except they're traveling in space majority of the time. Because... Excuse me, oh my god, I should be sleepy. It's only 12.47 in the afternoon. Um, because of the fact that, you know, Lafayette always liked space. So we always, I always knew going into season two, our banner that we were going to be in space and we were going to be in space the whole entire time. I do like the fact that in the beginning, maybe like the first three or four, maybe first six episodes, we did get to see characters from the first season kind of in like a little moment-ish like that, but also getting to see new characters and everything. Also having Diaho for a whole season was very good. I hate the fact that he's not going to be in the next season, but it kind of reminds me as I was trying to say. Um, animals do remember who their owners were, who took, to, uh, who took care of them previously because there was a time when my two dogs were still alive and I was living over by the airport and there was this one small dog, it was a white dog, that would always come over my house and I, my mom and I would take care of this dog like so flippin' much to the point where like he technic, she, no, was she was technically our third dog. Oh, this is that part. Oh. She'd miss you. Mm -hmm. See, they just always belong to each other. I'm sorry, because, like, oh, I ship it, even though they, like, the, like I said, there are romantic moments between the two in this show, but not as much as, like, typically in a, in a like, type of science fiction with, like, a, a teeny tiny esque of romance. Shut up. My lovely new Fitbit is just over here like, hey, ee, 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 here's a notification. Ee, ee. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, oh my God. But that's what I was saying. So I had, we had a dog. We had two dogs, both Yana and Kiana. And there was this white dog. Her name was Gigi. And so the people who took care of her always took care of her, loved the crap out of her. But there were times where, like, we had to babysit Gigi, do this, this, that, the third with Gigi and whatever. So, Gigi was like, quote unquote, our third dog. And there was one day, it, it, and this turned into several times, but it started out one random day. I think I, I had just, this. I think this was my first year, I just had graduated from high school. And my mom and I were doing stuff together and stuff. And plus, I, I think at that time, I wasn't really doing YouTube. I was thinking about it, but didn't really have the 
I wasn't really, you know, I was scared. I was like, I feel like people aren't going to like me, and this is that and the third. So one day, I heard something at my front door. Something scratching at my front door. And my dogs are instantly barking. And I'm like, what the heck is at the front door? So I go open the door, and it's Gigi and such. So I would always play around with Gigi and everything. So there was a point in time where um, my neighbors, unfortunately, gave up the dog. They gave the dog to one of their friends that they knew. So I hadn't seen Gigi in about maybe two, almost three years. So one day, um, my uh, my neighbor called my mom up and said that, you know, hey, the people who how now officially have Gigi, they're going to come over. And so we came over to see her and she was this little tiny thing when we first saw her like prior before she was you know given away and she got so big and everything so I open the door and she looks at me and we like eye each other for a moment and she instantly knew who I was she like ran over to me and like jumped on me and everything so yeah animals will never really forget who their owner or who someone the person who took care of them no matter what they see that person like you you never think it but like an animal has a connection to you an animal will literally like whoever is taking care of them the most are just even taking care of them they will be like okay you're my mom you're this you're that like between me and my mom and i'm the one who takes care of cody the most i i give him food i give him treats i take him out I, i'm considered his mom and such there was a point in time where when we first got cody and i was i hogged the shit out of him and i know and i still admit that even till day um, where he kind of rest his arm, I'm not his arm, his head on my shoulder. And that was when I was like, okay, he's really attached to me and such. And now since I officially got a job now, um, and I don't start until Monday, <laughs> but by the time you guys see this, it'll be Thursday. Um, <laughs> I will be gone for like five hours and I feel like this dog is going to have a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> with the fact that I'll be gone for five fucking hours. But I think he'll be okay with it. But really, honestly, this season, like, everything about it was really good. What I'm hoping to see in the final series of this show, aka Banner of the Stars 2, um, is continuing off where this ended. So, number one, we do get to see these two, you know, with their crew and this ship going through certain trials before they're able to go back into a mainstream battle and such if not if it just strictly cuts to a mainstream battle with them then that's okay i get it i understand we don't have time for everything this is that and the third but the fact is they have to start again from the ground up and they have to kind of you know uh, weave in the new the new things of the shift they have to like you know get her into like gear and everything and do this is that and the third i'm trying to figure out another way to say it but they have to you know make the ship their own and such because it is a brand new ship with some of the same features but at the same at the end of the day it is a brand new freaking ship but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for the first episode of banner of the stars 2 okay Episode 1 of Banner of the Stars 2, or episode 14 in my opinion, in 3, 2, 1, go. No.
the fact that they open this with him slowly dying. Oh, that's not cool. But you know what? It makes the most sense because this is the last show of the series. And it's like, oh, hey, he's going to die in the end. Because, <laughs> you know, he is a human. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Good. And I'm guessing this one is probably as long as um, both Banner and Cress. So 13 episodes. So taking away this since I'm watching this together with the last episode of Banner. So I should have like 12 more episodes, which six weeks. So hold on, are we going to see that, le are we, if they showed that first, are we going to see everything leading up to his death? I mean, because, <laughs> no offense, there's so many unanswered questions with that. You can't just start a show like that and be like, oh, we're okay. Like, what if he's already, as of right now, considered dead? And she's just traveling on without him. I, yeah, I, mm, God, I don't like this. <laughs> this is not the greatest way to start out a final series of a show. He's still taking a bow during this shit! <laughs> Sir! Sir, you can't be taking a bath. Once again, you can't be taking no bath during a battle. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's like taking a bath or a shower when the world's ending. Like, who would do that? <laughs> be like, well, might as well be clean before I die. What? I think comparing, like, each season, you can see how, like, season one, or Crest and Banner one both look the same in art style. This one looks more like HD of it, especially when I watched, like, the working series and how season one and, like, two had a very unique style. And then after that, it was just nothing but, look at it, here's now, like, HD, high definition, <laughs> pretty and sharp and everything. <laughs> We're basically just seeing what we saw in the previous episode though.
true. <laughs> Oh, well, we had a kitty's paradise. <laughs> oh, that one's cute. They are cute. I'm not really a cat person anymore, but I mean, hey, they adorable. And that's okay. You don't have to be like your sister. Excuse me. Your sister, I think ever since she was born, she was always desired for greatness. Really designed for greatness. And look how she is right now. And just because she's at a certain way doesn't mean you still can't get there. You just have to try. I feel like all like, people who really like the shit out of cats would literally love cat heaven. Like me, my goal, one of my goals is to like go to a cat, uh, a cat cafe in Japan and just be like, oh, look at my kitty. I just know when I come back home, my dog would hate me. <laughs> One, because I was gone too long, and two, like, you sniffed cats. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's just true. I mean, because the fish is very mature for her age. I mean, but damn. <laughs> yeah. 
You don't have to do the same things that she does. You can still be a kid a little longer. Oh, oh, baby. Oh. Let's see, you know what? He's already come attached to him. Possibly, yes. You would think that since we saw him in the beginning where he looked very much older, that as of right now, he would look not very close to that age, but you would see that maybe he would have a little bit of scruff on his face, maybe a mustache, five o'clock shadows, something, because of the fact is this has to be maybe immediately right after, but at the same time, this could be like a month, several months. You can see it all over her face. Ha 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 
Oh, you mean they're flirting? <laughs> oh, shut up, stomach. I know you're hungry. We're going to eat soon, but we can't eat now. I got to finish everything. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. We're going back and forth between present day him and, and no, we're going from past to present. That's the thing. Present day him is him slowly dying at a young age, whatever age he is at that moment. And past him is baby him. Oh, I don't like this. This is so mean. Oh. That's really how we start in the first season of the, the first episode of the final season. So technically now, present day him is dead, but past him, past Shinto is still alive. Oh God, I don't know what to say about this. I'm a little sad. I really am. So the fact is, it's going to be a little different seeing any scene now with him present you know in the past because of the fact is at this moment he in the past he is still alive but present day he's dead so it's gonna be a little weird i mean especially because we only have like six more weeks with this show before i'm completely done with this series and i move on so i really think this is gonna hurt me because it's worse because yeah because us as humans there's gonna be a day when we all die and the fact is that, you know, we're never going to see certain people or loved ones ever again. But, you know, at the same time, we will as angels and spirits and stuff. But with the situation of Lafayette and, you know, Ginto, they'll never see each other again. Because, you know, they don't age. They still look the same age. Well, Ginto could be 35 and Lafayette should look like she's like 14. So, I mean, in the end, that really, truly sucks. This is going to probably be, the, like, the, the most saddest series. This is going to be a sad finale series. Like, oh, my God. Like, to, n the, the biggest thing is you start the way you started. And y'all just like, here, take this. Take it. And just, you know, you're, we're going to crush your heart. We're going to crush that soul very quick. Oh, I'm dreading these next 12 episodes. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up. Even the song is sad. No, see, that's not cool. The fact is that we, the situation of Jinto and the song is sad. I do like the fact that, you know, how this started. We got to see how, like, with the previous episode, we got to see where everybody ended for that se season. This is continuing kind of where they left off, where certain characters are, especially like for he Diaho, where he is and where he's possibly going to stay because of the fact is there is no way in heck freaking Jinto is going to be able to get him. This ain't cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can do this for six weeks. Like, oh my God. This going to hurt. Seriously, the, the, this is this. oh my god. This is gonna hurt my soul. Like, I, I don't, am I gonna cry with this series? Probably, probably not. I don't really know, but th this is gonna hurt. It already truly is hurting, and this is only the first episode of the final season. Anything else from, from episode 2 to episode 13, 
anything can happen. Anything can and will happen. We're probably going to see every other human character who is with these group of characters slowly but surely one by one die. Until everyone is dead. Now, unless they, they kind of do what they did with this first episode where we still, you know, go back and forth between present day Jinto and past Jinto, I still would like that. But because of the fact is, it, in a way, it's like, okay, he dies in the first episode. We're only going to see past Jinto from episode two to the end of the series. It would have been nice to be like, oh, okay, here's back and forth, da 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 da, da because it's like, okay... Why? Oh, what the hell is he dying from? Did he get sick? There's so many unanswered questions. I understand of why, why, why starting a season like that, especially you know going backwards. It's kind of like how what some shows, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that they uh, I've seen done in the past where like they show the big like secret at the beginning of the show. <clears throat> And then they see everything leading up to that big secret. So then you get to see all the other secrets and tidbits that happened in between and such. And I do like that. And I think that's what they're kind of doing with this final season. But at the same time, it's like, oh my god, why are you doing this? T to start an episode out like this is so fucked up. And I don't know how in the world this is going to go for the end of the series. Like, what if it's, you know, freaking Lafayette, like throwing Jinto's ashes into the like into space so that they could be together forever or like she keeps his ashes there there's so many things how of this series could end and I have no clue what the hell they're going to do but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Bear of the Stars slash one and two if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next saturday for patrons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes two and three or in my opinion episodes 15 and 16 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye